Okay, we're going to cook my chorizo and tomato chicken. So first off, hopefully you've got your pan ready. So we just need to turn the heat on, put a large glug of oil into the pan, about a tablespoon, and then in with the chorizo, the shallots and the garlic. And we're putting this in a cold pan so that as the pan heats up, it'll start releasing all the oils from the chorizo and it'll mean that the garlic and the shallots won't burn. And we'll turn the heat down as it starts, um, as it starts heating up. So just move everything around in the pan as everything starts heating up and soon you'll hear that sizzle and you'll know that the chorizo's uh, starting to leak the, the oil because the shallots and the garlic will start turning a lovely orange colour. So just keep moving everything around in the pan, nice and easy. And once we've done this, we're going to add in the risotto rice. So if you don't have that to hand, go and get that now. I can just hear, start hearing the pan just starting to sizzle ever so slightly. That means that the, the heat's getting to it now nicely. And you can see that the, the shallots and the garlic have already started to go a little bit pink. You don't need to do this for long. It's all going to get cooked off properly when we add all the stock and the, the chopped tomatoes. There we go. See, hopefully your uh, shallots are looking like this. So it's started to go, started to go a little bit red, coloured from the, the chorizo. And that's exactly what we want. So when we add the rice, it'll get, we'll toss that around the pan and that'll get coated in all the nice flavours as well. And hopefully it's smelling nice as well now. So we can just turn the heat down. I'm actually going to change this to the, the low burner now because you don't want a lot of heat on this. So I'm just going to change it to the low burner. And then we can add in the rice now. So just tip in your rice and give it a good stir. And you see what's happened to the rice. The rice has instantly changed colour because it's been coated in all the lovely flavours from the chorizo and the garlic and the shallots. Just give this a stir round, just to ensure that everything's getting coated. There we go. And now we're going to start adding the stock, just a little bit at a time. So I've just added just under 200 millilitres. And we're just going to keep stirring now, just until that's gone, got nice and absorbed into the rice. And this is a really great dish because it's so nice. The flavour of the chorizo and the garlic and with the chicken and the tomatoes. And then you've got the rice that just makes it really, really nice and homely. Really nice dish. So just keep stirring and hopefully the, uh, the stock will be getting absorbed nicely into the rice. We get, and then we're just going to do exactly the same again. Just add once the this stock's more or less absorbed, we're going to add in another probably about 100, 150 milliliters. You don't have to be too exact, though. Don't worry. Okay. This also helps because it's starting off the cooking process for the, for the risotto so that when we put the lid on and let it simmer for 20 minutes it'll effectively finish it off so you're not, this is starting it off cooking nicely because you don't want hard sort of grainy bits of rice at the end, that would spoil it. Right, so hopefully yours is still looking something like this. Most of the stock's been 
absorbed into the rice. And then we're just going to add some more stock. Okay. So about 100 millilitres. But don't bother measuring it out. It's not that important at this stage. And you can see the lovely orange colour. That's just all the, the oils from the chorizo. Fantastic flavour. I'm actually going to put this back on the high heat again, just to get a bit of heat through it. It's just important to control the heat. So every time you add the stock, you just want it to come to the boil nice and quickly, but then you don't want it to burn and over bubble. So it's just about controlling the heat. Go. So the only effort you have to do is just stir in a pan. That can't be too bad. So just moving everything around the pan, just to mix it all together. Now it's starting to bubble, so I'm just going to turn the heat on. I'm leaving it on the main burner, but just turning the heat down now. So obviously if you leave it on high heat, all that will happen is it'll just, the pan will just keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. So there comes a point when it's boiling where it's plenty hot enough. Right. So hopefully yours is looking like this. A lot of this stock's been absorbed again. And now we're just going to add in the rest of the stock. And we're going to turn the heat back up full to let this to allow this to properly bubble now. So give it a stir, turn the heat up full, and we'll go and um, we'll go and season the chicken. There we go. So you can just leave that on the hob whilst we go and season the chicken. So I've just chopped the chicken pieces into nice big chunks and we just need to season them. And I'm going to use a lot of salt and pepper on this because we haven't added any salt and pepper to the dish and this will just sort of help flavour everything when you put the chicken in. The other thing that we're doing obviously is we're putting the chicken in raw into the mixture and the good thing about that is because chicken itself doesn't have too much flavour and it's always it's really good for a marinade or something, by putting it into raw it'll just absorb all those lovely flavours. There we go. So we can take this over to the hob and we'll check on and see how the risotto is doing. Hopefully yours is looking like this, it's coming to the boil nicely and bubbling away. There'll still be plenty of stock in, but that's fine, that'll all get absorbed into the rice throughout the cooking process. So now we just need to add in the chicken. And careful it doesn't splash too much. So just spread that around the pan. And then just get rid of your chicken chopping board and wash your hands if you've been touching the chicken. Right, so just give everything a stir, it's just nice love, care and attention. And now all that's left to do is to add in the chopped tomatoes. So it's just a tin of chopped tomatoes. And we'll give that a stir. Just be careful not to spill everything. And we're not going to add any more salt and pepper at this stage. We'll do that at the end when we come back. Right. 
So hopefully it's still following me. And so that's all we need to do now. So just take the lid through your pan and pop the lid on. And then put it on the low burner. Oh, it's a bit hot now. There we go. And just pop it on a low heat. Because all we want to do is just simmer this now. And then just leave this for 20 minutes on a low heat. You can stir it occasionally if you want, have a look at it, you'll be able to enjoy the lovely smells. But leave this for 20 minutes and then come back and we'll be ready to go. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Um, it's been simmering away nicely. Hopefully yours is looking like this. The, the uh, rice has all expanded. It's been absorbing the nice flavours. And the chicken will be nicely cooked. All we need to do now is just add a pinch of salt and some good twist of pepper. And we'll be done. There we go. Just give that a little stir. And then we'll take everything over to the work surface and we'll be ready to plate up. Okay. Just need to get a spoon. Right, so nice and simple, just take your bowls. Hopefully you've got your parsley ready from earlier. And then just spoon the mixture into the middle of the plate. There we go. There we go. And then all you need to do is just sprinkle with chopped parsley on top. And it's done. I hope you enjoy it. Toss that around the pan and that'll get coated in all the nice flavours as well. And hopefully it's smelling nice as well now. So we can just turn the heat down. I'm actually going to change this to the, the low burner now because you don't want a lot of heat on this. So I'm just going to change it to the low burner. And then we can add in the rice now. So just tip in your rice and give it a good stir. And you see what's happened to the rice? The rice has instantly changed colour because it's been coated. And once we've done this, we're going to add in the risotto rice. So if you don't have that to hand, go and get that now. I can just hear, start hearing the pan just starting to sizzle ever so slightly. That means that the, the heat's getting to it now nicely. And you can see that the, the shallots and the garlic have already started to go a little bit pink. Okay, we're going to cook my chorizo and tomato chicken. So first off, hopefully you've got your pan ready. So we just need to turn the heat on, put a large glug of oil into the pan, about a tablespoon, and then in with the chorizo, the shallots and the garlic. And we're putting this in a cold pan so that as the pan heats up, it'll start releasing all the oils from the chorizo and it'll mean that the garlic and the shallots won't burn. And we'll turn the heat down as it starts, um, as it starts. You don't need to do this for long. It's all going to get cooked off properly when we add all the stock and the, the chopped tomatoes. There we go. See, hopefully your uh, shallots are looking like this. So it's started to go, started to go a little bit red, coloured from the, the chorizo. And that's exactly what we want. So when we add the rice, it'll get, we'll start heating up. So just move everything around in the pan as everything starts heating up. And soon you'll hear that sizzle. And you'll know that the chorizo's 
uh, starting to leak the, the oil because the shallots and the garlic will start turning a lovely orange colour. So just keep moving everything around in the pan, nice and easy. 